What's happening guys? Welcome to the basement. Today we're checking out Crawl Space by Rick Remender. Stay tuned. <laughs> So what this is, is five separate horror stories by Rick Remender and a host of different writers and illustrators. Let's look into it. A beautiful cover by Karen Dwyer and Tony Moore. Published by Image Comics, retails for $49.99 US. I was able to get this for about 40 bucks off of local classifieds. This thing is massive. It's bigger than a Marvel omnibus. It's about the same size as a Dark Horse Library Edition book. Rick Remender is definitely one of my favorite writers, and he does team up with quite a few different talented people here. Although I would have to say that this is one of my least favorite books of his, but it's still pretty good, so let's kick it off here. So this book collects Nightmare, XXX Zombies, Creatures, Sorrow, and Sea of Red. Next we have a foreword written by Rick Remender himself. Starting it off with Nightmare, story by Rick Remender and Karen Doyer. Probably my second favorite or third favorite story in this book. It's about this girl Mary and her father. They both work together. Her father's a scientist. He created some kind of sleep serum. They have mentally ill clients that they work with. And in order to help them, Mary has to go into their subconscious mind as they're asleep and dreaming and help them face any inner demons that they may be struggling with. The type of therapy that they're using is successful until it's not anymore, turning their clients insane and into killers. And there's a lot more to this story as well. Later on, you do get the backstory of Mary's father and the development of this so-called sleep serum, but I won't go ahead and spoil it for you. Overall, I have to say I like this story. The art style seems a little dry at times and flat, but the dream sequences are quite nice and colorful throughout the four issue series. Next up, we have my favorite story in this book, Triple X Zombies, or XXX Zombies, however you want to call it. Written by Rick Remender, Tony Moore, and Karen Doyer. Art by Karen Doyer. It's about a film cast and crew filming a porno movie in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. The film producer owes a bunch of money to a group of mobsters and he hopes to cash in on this latest film. You also have the father of the adult film star. He's like a badass American trucker. And he's looking for his daughter, who ran off to the city of LA to pursue this career. So you have the film cast and crew, the mobsters, and the father mingling in and out of the story. And it's kind of a cat and mouse chase between the, the mobsters and the father. And uh, just trying to survive the, the whole zombie outbreak. Really enjoyed this one. Easily the best story in this book in my opinion. Loving the art style. It looks kind of like a sloppy Tony Moore, even though Tony Moore did not draw this one, but uh, he was involved in writing it. Also a total of four issues with this one. Next up, we have a story called Creatures. It was written by Rick Remender, art by Peter Bergting. It is only one issue. Thankfully, I did not like this one at all. Has something to do with President Roosevelt um, fighting a bunch of uh, Martian-like creatures. Not for me. Artwork looks pretty good, but didn't like the story. Up next, we have Sorrow by Rick Remender and Seth Peck. Art by Francesco Francavilla. This one was great. It's all black and white. Suits the narrative just right, I feel. It's about a group of people traveling. They pick up a hitchhiker. They enter into this so-called ghost town. Um, soon after that, they get into an accident. The townsfolk come to their aid. Not long after that, they find out that something is wrong here in this town. 
There are supernatural elements, different kinds of creatures, old native Indian hauntings. And for some reason, one of the girls seems to be drawn to this town, almost like it's calling to her. Really like the story and art style. Didn't mind at all that it was in black and white. Uh, the shading looks very nice. The character villains and the people from the town are very interesting. Really enjoy the vibe of this story. Also collects four issues. And finally, we have Sea of Red by Rick Remender and Karen Doyer. Art by Sal Good Sam. Very unique and interesting vampire story. Didn't care much for the art style though. Although the quality of the artwork does tend to fluctuate from time to time, I just found the overall red tone of the art bothersome at times. The story takes place in the 1500s. The main character is shipwrecked and is soon rescued by an unknown ship. The crew members aboard this ship turn out to be vampires. They infect the main character. They do throw him overboard after a battle and he sinks to the bottom of the sea floor which he stays for 500 years. He stays alive by killing and drinking the blood of fish and he's tormented by the memories of his wife and child. He is then rescued by a group of people in a submarine. They figure they can cash in on this guy's life story and make a movie about him. But all this vampire wants is to get revenge on the people who cursed him and left him for dead. The story really does take a twist afterwards regarding this main character, um, his intentions towards the villains of this story, some things that we believe were true regarding the main character and the villains and his family life turn out to be false. Quite enjoyable overall. There are some dry issues, not so entertaining ones, that you'll have to pummel through in order to get to the end. But it is worth it. Just hang in there. It is also the longest story in this book. It consists of 11 issues. So with that being said, if you're a Rick Remender fan, I believe you'll enjoy this book. Pick it up. Give it a shot. Keep in mind, it is not his best work, but it is still pretty good. Also, the price of a book this size would actually be double than what it's retailing for. Keep that in mind. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.